The Google Pixel Fold 2 is a budget-friendly smartphone offering a balance of essential features and 5G connectivity. The Google Pixel Fold 2 is likely coming this spring, and it would bring a number of improvements over the original Google Pixel Fold. Before we get started, please like the video if you're a Samsung user, let me know in the comments, and if you haven't subscribed already then hit subscribe button now, so you don't miss a thing in the future. The pressure is on Google to push the envelope with the Pixel Fold 2, as it will face some tough competition from the upcoming Galaxy Z Fold 6, OnePlus Open and other foldables. The Pixel Fold 2 is tipped to feature a narrower and sleeker design with less of a camera bump, a much more powerful Tensor G4 chip, maybe, and other upgrades. A design leak suggests that the Pixel Fold the second of may look a little different to its predecessor. Rather than having a wider cover display, which we prefer to the narrow displays of phones like the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5, Google may be slimming things down a bit. We don't know the Pixel Fold 2 release date yet, but there is a rumor that Google would announce the phone at Google I.O. 2024 in May. Likewise, there's no word on pricing at this early stage. We don't expect the Pixel Fold 2 to cost less than $1,799 as its starting price but given the current trend of smartphone price increase, we wouldn't rule that out until we hear otherwise. Google Pixel Fold 2 has 4,821 mAh battery, which lasted for 10 hours and 21 minutes in our battery testing. It's also been suggested that the Pixel Fold 2 could offer an increased 16 GB of RAM, 4 GB more than the Pixel Fold, and upgrade the storage to UFS 4.0, which offers faster read-slash-write speeds and improved power efficiency. According to Android Authority the phone could skip over the Tensor G3 and launch with a Tensor G4 chipset. While Tensor chips are not known for their benchmarking prowess, there have been rumors that the G4 chip may be based on Samsung's Exynos 2400. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment the country you are watching from. See you in my next video.